Out you popped out of your mummy's pumpkin, and everyone shouted, "He's a boy! He's a boy!" And then someone said, "But he hasn't got a winkle." <laughs> and then I said, "A boy without a winkle? God be praised! It's a miracle! A boy without a winkle!" <laughs> Hello, my name is Megan Ruth. I'm a Canadian living in London, England, and I react to British things. So today I'm going to be reacting to Blackadder for the first time. This has been heavily requested and I'm really excited to watch it because it has Rowan Atkinson in it and I grew up watching Mr. Bean, so I know how funny he is and I'm really excited to watch it. As with most of my reactions, this video will be edited. If you wanted to see the entire reaction without any edits, I'll post the link to my Patreon down below. Thank you to my patrons who are supporting me already ready, especially my top tier patrons, Steven, Ben, Joseph, Michael, Robin, Mitch, and Lavro. My top tier patrons are also the ones who chose this video this week. Sometimes if I'm stuck between two different videos, I will ask them what to react to next and they will choose for me. So thank you guys for choosing Black Adder. I'm looking forward to watching it. Just really quickly, when I reacted to this, I thought this was the first episode of the first season because the site that I downloaded it from said it was the first episode of the first season. I have since been corrected thanks to my patrons who have said that this is actually the first episode of the second season. So I will continue to watch it from the first episode of the first season if I can find it somewhere. But yes, this is the first episode of the second season. But Father, surely... Yes, Kate. I want you to become a prostitute. <laughs> do you find it? Oh, indeed I do. For it is better to die poor than to live in shame and ignominy. No, it isn't. I'm young and strong and poor. My nose is pretty. I shall find another way to earn us a living. Oh, please go on the game. <laughs> it's a steady job. <laughs> and you'll be working from home. <laughs> Goodbye, Father. I shall go to London, disguise myself as a boy, and seek my fortune. Well, why walk all the way to London when you can make a fortune lying on your back? <laughs> <laughs> Tall, blonde, elegant. Aye, that's right. Goes like a privy door when the plague's in town. <laughs> Come on, get on with your shot. You'll get over her. I did. <laughs> it's so interesting to see Rowan Atkinson speak on camera because I feel like most of the stuff or all of the stuff that I've seen him in is Mr. Bean and he just doesn't speak so that's interesting and obviously he's younger here too this was filmed before Mr. Bean so yeah it's, he's so talented what is it brings you here I'm an honest, hard-working lad, but poor, and I must support my father, who is stark raving mad. Therefore, I come to London to seek a servant's wage. Well, yes, indeed. Unfortunately, I already have a servant. The word is that your servant is the worst servant in London. <laughs> mm, that's true. Well, Rick, you're fired. Be out of the house <laughs> Well, young man, you've got yourself a job. What do they call you? Kate. Isn't that a bit of a girl's name? Oh, it's some um, short for um, Bob. <laughs> Bob. Yes. Well, Bob. Welcome on board. I mean, I don't know if they intended this, but she still looks like a woman. She hasn't done much really to disguise herself at all, <laughs> other than the clothes and the cut hair. But no, like she. Yeah, she, at least try to like. Deepen your voice, maybe? <laughs> Do you think he'd spend more time with me if I was a boy? <laughs> Surely not, madam. You almost were a boy, my little cherry pip. What? Yeah. Out you popped out of your mummy's pumpkin, and everyone shouted, he's a boy, he's a boy. And then someone said, but he hasn't got a winkle. <laughs> and then I said, a boy without a winkle? God be praised, it's a miracle, a boy without a winkle. <laughs> <laughs> what think you, my lord of love? You mean rumpy pumpy. <laughs> what would you say, my lord, if I were to say, I love you? Nah. <laughs> um. <laughs> well, of course, it depends entirely on who you said it to. Well, if you said it to a horse, I presume you were sick. Um, if, you, if you said it to Baldrick, I presume you were blind. And if you said it to me, you Yes, were... my lord. Well, well, I naturally assume we were having a 
A big lad's joke about bat ticklers, the way we healthy fellows often do, and I'd probably grab you for a friendly wrestle, and then we'd probably slap each other's thighs like jolly good chums and laugh at what it would be like if, if we really did <laughs> fancy each other. In that case, my lord, I love you. <laughs> Wait, does does he know she's a woman? Or is he gay? Don't worry, Bob. He used to try and kill me too. Well, it's my manservant. I see. Well, don't be embarrassed. If you've got the pox, just pop your uh, manservant on the table and we'll take a look at it. <laughs> <laughs> oh. no, no, I mean, it's my real manservant. Uh-huh. And what's wrong with him? There's nothing wrong with him. That's the problem. He's perfect. And last night, I almost kissed him. I see. So you've started fancying boys then, have you? Not boys, a boy. Yes, well, let's not split hairs. It's all rather disgusting and naturally all worried. <laughs> of course I'm worried. Well, of course you are. It isn't every day a man wakes up to discover he's a screaming bender with no more right to live on God's clean earth than a weasel. <laughs> Ashamed of yourself? Not really, no. Bloody hell, I would be. <laughs> when I fancy people, I sleep with them. <laughs> oh, I have to drug them first, of course. <laughs> Being so old and warty. But what about my position, my social life? <laughs> Very well, then. Three other paths are open to you. Three cunning plans to cure thy ailment. Oh, good. The first is simple. Kill Bob. Never. Then try the second. Huh? Kill yourself. Uh, and the third? The third is to ensure that no one else ever knows. Ah, that sounds more like it. How? Kill everybody in the whole world! <laughs> Gosh, extremes! Hello. Oh my god! <laughs> Edmund, you didn't tell me we were expecting guests. And such a pretty one, too. Uh. <laughs> cutie to be hiding yourself away all these years. Tell me, gorgeous, what's your name? He's called Baldrick. Baldrick. That's a pretty name. Edmund used to have a servant called Baldrick. But anyway, away with such small talk. Lady, a kiss. What? <laughs> and so modest too. Come on, you little tease. You know you want to. Give us a kiss. Alright. <laughs> 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 uh, what an original perfume. <laughs> He's wearing a dress. How did he not know that? Anyway, what do you want? Meet me on my horse in eight seconds. But I can't run in this frock. You see, I find I actually prefer wearing boys' clothes. Weird. I always feel more comfy in a dress. <laughs> I've got a plan, and it's as hot as my pants. <laughs> what a man Flash is, eh? Things will certainly liven up around here now he's back. Won't they, Flash? Uh. So long, suckers. Next time you get bored of your lives, give me a call, and I'll come around and kill you. Uh. Bye, Edmund, and thanks for everything. Hooray! <laughs> um, it is customary on these occasions for the groom to marry the bridesmaid. I presume you intend to honour this. Um... I do. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Sexy, oh, 
<laughs> oh, even the credits have a have a hilarity to them. I love it. Oh my god, so funny. I can see why this has been recommended to me. So funny. Rowan Atkinson is just bloody genius. Yes. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the reaction. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe if you haven't done so already. See you next time. Bye. Mwah.